watching Mid Morning this Monday. Hackers are threatening to expose nearly 37 million cheaters. The website Ashley Madison uses the tagline, Life is short, have an affair. And it's been hacked. The hackers demanding the website come down, or they say they're going to go after a lot of adulterers. The group calls themselves the Impact Team. And apparently they have the names, addresses, and fantasies of users. Ashley Madison's parent mm. company has admitted that they were hacked. They say they've closed off the vulnerability, but uh, that's a, there's a lot of people, Matt, whose names and information... <laughs> 37 they're, million! They're, I was amazed that the number is that high! Well, there's a lot of people in America. You're like, there's a lot of people looking to cheat, men and women, Kim. And I was really hoping, though, that the group behind this hack was a bunch of angry housewives or house husbands <laughs> yeah, right. trying to get back and demand justice. But it sounds to me that that's not the case. This could be either a disgruntled employee or someone who just has a, a problem with the company's policy. It seems to be more of a problem with their accounting than anything else. Yes, yeah, so this these hackers are upset at the parent company. Ashley Madison offers a full delete feature. So you pay $19 and then the assertion is that they will wipe your profile out. Except to pay the $19, you have to use your credit card. And right. when you use your credit card, they have your name, they have your address, and that of course is the information people want wiped out. Well, it also seems like this Ashley Madison company is taking advantage of their own customers. Like, oh yes, we'll offer you this service, but you have to pay. Wouldn't you yeah. think that that would just come with it and the delete. they would want to protect their customers' privacy, that that should be a guideline? The hackers in their statement said, quote, too bad for those men, they're cheating dirtbags and deserve no such discretion. Uh, I don't have a lot of sympathy for people who are attempting to cheat on their spouse. But, but even I them? feel like a little bad about this right. situation. If you're hacking into this, can you take the moral high ground? If you're doing something that's illegal, can you say, hey, what you're doing, which, by the way, isn't illegal, right. I am morally superior to? Well, you could say the illegal action is uh, it's, it's uh, justice. These guys deserve, and women, deserve to be exposed. I don't know. I mean, do they deserve to be exposed? I, I do believe that there is a guideline here that needs to be in place because if this is okay to hack, then where do you draw the line? You know what I mean? Well, nothing's but, okay to hack, but these guys have exactly. the information. They have it. They have it. And so now... But this is a kind of company that is a prime target for hackers, right? Because you have this threat of blackmail. Yeah. Which makes it all the more inexcusable from right. a company standpoint that they didn't have it locked down. Well, enough. and this isn't the first time that we've heard of this kind of a company being hacked, Adult Friend Finder, right. whatever that company is, just not too long ago, well, just, was hacked as well. Mm. Matt and I is happily married. We don't know what any of this is. I'm just first I'm hearing of it. Yep. Yep. Our next